Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News, Shinrin, Yoku, and Yurt Life, bringing you a grand solar minimum. Update Wednesday, March 13th, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. Mars may have a new super volcano, or maybe not. Keep calm. It's boom time. Colorado weather, heavy front range snow set to bury Thursday and Friday as well. Here is the snow forecast through Thursday, up to a foot of snow in the high elevations of Leadville, and then comes the big snow for Friday. We're talking up to two or three feet of snow for areas like Nederland, Blackhawk, Georgetown, Conifer, Evergreen, 30 inches predicted all the way down to West Creek and the south, San Juans. A major spring storm developing and, well, stay off the roads if you don't have to be. At the same time, severe storms target the Midwest and South in a multi-day threat of tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail. Wednesday, strongest storms are expected in parts of Kansas, Missouri, as well as Nebraska. The area of the worst storms expands Thursday to cover parts of eight states from Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana southward towards Texas and Louisiana. Here's the top hail reports from yesterday. Two inches in Wellington, Missouri, and two inches in Napoleon, Missouri. Take a look at the severe weather threat for today. Kansas City was in the crosshairs. Large hail threat for the plains for today from Kansas to Missouri. And here we have tomorrow the severe weather threat. Little Rock, Arkansas will be in the crosshairs. But severe weather potential from Chicago all the way down to Waco, Texas. The nexus of the Schmexus. Here's the rainfall forecast for the south Thursday through Saturday. Two to three inches for eastern Texas. And some heavy rain for northern Alabama. So let's take a look at the full forecast in just a minute. Mount Washington records its highest wind gusts of the winter season at 150 miles per hour, paling in comparison to the recent blizzard in the Sierras with winds of 190 or higher. Winter storm developing in the central U.S. with areas of heavy snow, severe thunderstorms, and fire weather. A winter storm developing across the central Rockies today will spread heavy snow across the area, including Denver, Metro, through Friday, with heavy snow expanding into the southern Rockies beginning Thursday. Additionally, extremely critical fire weather is forecast over the southern plains in areas that have already been charred, i.e. the Smokehouse Creek Fire. Remember that one? Winter storm watches and warnings in six states and heed the warnings. Let's take a look at the GFS model and walk it through day by day. Here is Thursday through Friday morning. Heavy snow for the eastern plains of Colorado. Take a look at that four feet or more. Friday through Saturday, the system's going to dip a little further down into the Four Corners region, bringing heavy snow to New Mexico and Arizona. And then it's going to move east. Here is Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and you can see more snow in the northeast early in the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, for the high elevations of Vermont, New Hampshire, the Adirondacks in New York, as well as Maine. Seismic update, big rumbler, six magnitude in Papua New Guinea at 50 kilometers depth. No other real quakes of note. We do have some aftershocks here from a 5.8 in Indonesia, as well as a 5.1 in the Banda Sea. Very low activity in the U.S. and some moderate activity in the five magnitude in Chile there. Reykjanes Peninsula, keeping a close eye on that. Seismicity is very low, but the uplift has continued now for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight days since it dropped off. And it has now exceeded the threshold from one of the last four eruptions. In fact, the last eruption. So an eruption could happen anytime soon. We're just waiting for the tremor to increase. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Fern Fernandina Volcano in the Galapagos. Lava flow wanes gradually, but there we can see the SO2 plume moving off of it. Ducono to 8,000 feet today. Sakorajima to 8,000 as well. Sabancaya to 23,000. Fuego to 15,000. Here we're looking at Tinakulu, Tinakula volcano in the Solomon Islands with an obvious lava flow here off to the west. And in fact, a new eruption. Popo to 21,000. 
Uh, what else do we have today? Abeco, 12,000 feet and increasing over the last two days. Space weather, some moderate activity just kicking off. A high-level sea flare there could be from the departing region, which makes sense, or an incoming spot due to the Earth facing quiet. Three-day geomagnetic forecast is for all quiet, currently at KP1. Now, every 2.4 million years, Mars tugs on Earth so hard it changes the ocean floor. A new geological study suggests that Mars's gravitational field pulls the Earth closer to the sun over cycles lasting millions of years, warming our climate. Geological evidence tracking back more than 65 million years and taken from hundreds of sites across the world suggests that deep sea currents have repeatedly gone through periods of being either stronger or weaker. This happens every 2.4 million years and is known as an astronomical grand cycle. The stronger currents known as giant whirlpools or eddies may reach the sea floor at the deepest parts of the ocean known as the abyss. Now, these powerful currents then erode away at the large pieces of sediment that accumulate during calmer periods in the cycle, according to research published Tuesday in the Journal of Nature Communications. These cycles happen to coincide with the timing of known gravitational interactions between Earth and Mars as the two planets orbit the sun, according to the study, which we'll link below for free. And all the links to everything we talk about will be below. Here's the paper, which just came out yesterday. Deep Sea Hiatus records record. Deep Sea Hiatus record reveals orbital pacing by 2.4 million year eccentricity grand cycles. <whistles> Say that five times fast. Moving on. They claim that a giant volcano was discovered on Mars. Yes, a deeply eroded giant volcano active from ancient through recent times, and with possible remnants of glacier ice near its base. There it is, the buried glacier ice. See the arrow? Now, the newly discovered giant volcano probably isn't a volcano at all. It's located near these two quite different types of quote-unquote craters, perfectly circular features, which may be an anode and a cathode. And in fact, these grand canyons we're looking at may be plasma current flow directions which eroded the surface with electricity during a plasma discharge event. SpaceX prepares the third test of its Starship rocket. The launch is scheduled for Thursday morning. The company hopes to test a variety of capabilities, including a controlled re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. So we'll be watching and check out the article for the details. A mass grave of plague victims may be the largest ever found in Europe. It's fascinating. According to archaeologists in southern Germany, they've unearthed the skeletons of a thousand plus plague victims from eight pits, forming what could be the largest mass grave ever excavated in Europe. Also finding artifacts as they dig, including coins, jewelry, and other trinkets. Very morbid, but very interesting discovery. Now, most of these people died during a series of plague outbreaks between 1533 and 1634, according to Nuremberg, that together claim the lives of roughly 30,000 people. Thanks, rats. Hey, guys, we just put up an interesting primer to the upcoming geomag the ongoing geomagnetic reversal. It's titled, Are We Ready for an Upcoming Geomagnetic Reversal? An Introduction to the Science. Really good video here from Brightside on the introduction to the science of our planet, the magnetosphere, and the interactions with the sun. So go watch it and have fun. Link below. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. Watch all of our podcasts in one place, commercial free. And be safe. We love you. And that is a boom. Thank <laughs> you.